Oh baby, it's hot outside. And I have something that will help keep you cool indoors and out for hours. I'm Jan Howe from YouMakeItSimple.com and in today's sewing tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make these DIY neck cooling scarves, something that you can put on and wear to keep you cool for hours. It literally is a 10 minute sewing project, something quick for adults and children. Let's get started. Let's quickly go over the items and materials that you'll need. You'll need a very small piece of fabric, four and a half inches by the width of the fabric, a turning stick, an iron and ironing board, the water beads, I will put a link in the description below. They're easy to find, craft and sewing stores, floral departments, or online. A pair of fabric scissors, a measuring tape, a rotary cutter comes in handy, fabric clips, and of course your sewing machine. And I do recommend grabbing a cookie sheet for when you're filling the scarves, then you don't have beads going all over. One of the first things you'll need to do is get your water beads soaking so they can hydrate and get plumped up. You'll only need a little bit of, of these beads. This is one teaspoon and you can use little teeny beads or this type of bead, this white bead is, they're clear. They're a little bit smaller than the colored beads, but both work. You don't want to use the powder. The powder absorbs into the fabric and doesn't work as well. You can just use normal quilting cotton fabric and I'm cutting it to four and a half inches, 10 centimeters by 40 to 45 inches or 112 centimeters. And this is just usually the width of standard fabric. You'll use the whole width. To make the tapered ends of the scarf, fold the fabric in half and we're going to cut off at a 45 degree angle the selvaged edge to make a little point there. Most rulers have a 45 degree angle, line that up on the fold and just clip off that corner. Open that up and place right sides together and just pin it in place. We're going to leave a little bit of, of the section of the seam unsewn in the middle so that we can stuff the tube with beads. So we'll start at the cornered edge, so all the way down to the stop point the red clips where I want to stop sewing and then start sewing. Just a little tip. And then sew all the way around. So we'll take it to the sewing machine using a straight stitch, a normal straight stitch. Back stitch at the beginning, come to the corner, leave your needle down, pick up your presser foot and continue sewing until you hit that red clip or a pin. Back stitch, lift up your presser foot and move the fabric down to that next clip and start sewing again. Back stitching, then continue down to the other end and sewing around the corner and back stitching. Now we're going to clip off the corners with your scissors to make it turn better. Clip off those corners, making sure not to cut into the seam. Take your turning stick and turn the tube inside out starting from the point edges. Poking it out through the hole that you left. Poke out the corners with your turning stick. Make sure they're out all the way and just pull it through. Do the same thing on the other side. You can use also use an eraser end of a pencil if you wanted to. And then we're going to take it to the iron and press the edges out, the seams out really well. Go back to the hole that you left open and fold the edges under the same seam allowance and press it in place. Now we're ready to get ready to mark the pocket ends, measure 10 and a half inches from the folded edge and mark those places with the pin. That's where we're going to sew so that the whole thing doesn't fill up with beads. Back stitch before you start and end the seam. 
Well, there's two places that we're going to make that stopping point. Take it to your cookie sheet and start applying the beads inside. And once you get them all in inside, and you don't want to stuff it too plump or it can expand so much that it bursts the seam. Line up the edges, clip it in place, and then take it to the sewing machine. You can hand stitch this, but I find that just taking it to the sewing machine and sewing a straight line really close to the edge, like an eighth of an inch, back stitching again at the beginning of the end, will secure that in place and save you a lot of time. Just make sure you're not sewing over any of the beads. You can kind of scoot them out of place. Pretty simple. Clip your threads and you're good to go. So to hydrate the scarf, you just put it in a bowl of water or a sink and just let them hydrate. It takes about an hour or two. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you do that. Click on the bell to be notified of any upcoming classes. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day and we'll see you next time. <laughs>